It is time to eat, and we're at a really cool place called Freiburg. It's here in the Devon section of Milford, and they're known for nostalgic food. Food that isn't fast food or processed, even though they make some great sausage and hot dogs, and they make hamburgers from scratch as well. Hand-cut fries, including Dutch fries, Italian, and something called the Assimilation. They're also, I heard, gonna make for us one of their signature buttermilk chicken sandwiches. I can't wait. This is a home run. This is fantastic. <laughs> I want to support local businesses and small businesses just like myself. I certainly know what it's like to be one, so yeah, I try and do that as best I can. Right here in Milford at Freiburg. So let's see, time to go. Hey, Jim, nice to meet you. I'm John, welcome to Freiburg. I really appreciate you guys coming down. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, and I'm so excited to be here because we've heard a lot about this place, and it smells delicious. What are you gonna make for us? We'll make you a couple of our signature items for sure. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, we're gonna start with the Dutch fries. That's what kind of inspired me to open Freiburg's. What else are you gonna make? Yeah, we're also gonna do our uh, buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. That's our most popular sandwich here. Without further ado, let's watch you make it. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is drop the fries into the fryer. Um, they'll be in there about three minutes. So we use canola oil instead of peanut oil uh, for allergy concerns. So first thing, we'll just take the fries and build a nice, a nice base here. Then we just take some, uh, some mayonnaise. So that's curry ketchup right there. And then we just have some minced onion that we put right over the top. Um, we have chicken breast right here that's brining. And we just take that once and we put it in our flour, our seasoned flour mixture. And then it goes in our buttermilk and egg mixture. And then we just drop it right into the fryer here. Mm. Um, so these are the brioche buns that we use for the chicken sandwich. Just a little bit of, little bit of mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yes. Three pickle chips right there. That beautiful piece of fried chicken. This looks amazing, <laughs> wow. All right, it's gonna to be really in. hot, so be careful. Mmm, wow. Mm. The coating on the chicken, the buttermilk, mm -hmm. the mayonnaise, the pickles, and the buttery brioche. This is a home run, this is fantastic. <laughs> What do you want to bring to the area here in Milford that didn't exist before? Um, I just wanted to do like really high quality food that reminded me of childhood, you know, but like almost a childhood that was even before my own childhood sure. where like burgers were made fresh and fries were hand cut and you didn't just open up a bag of frozen stuff and throw it in a fryer and call it a day, you know? You know what I like too is the fact that uh, you probably do parties and gatherings and social events for people too, right? Yeah, some people do come in and dine. We're small, so we only have a couple of tables, but we do a lot of takeout and we do a lot of delivery as well. Um, we are on all of the major delivery apps, uh, but we, we do some local delivery ourselves, especially for lunch. We do catering as well for local businesses in the area and, and small parties, so yeah. Now let's talk about the food we have in front of us because we've got a lot of good stuff here. I see. Fluffernutter, that looks good, huh? No, I mean, we, you know, rather than just throw it on white bread and call it a day, we use the a sliced brioche, same as the roll, but from the same bakery in New Haven. Um, we butter it and grill it. We add the bacon, you don't have to get it with the bacon if you don't want to, but it's certainly up to you, and then it gets nice and oozy. And how about this over here? Um, this is the assimilation fries. Uh, that has a fried egg, a nice runny egg, makes everything better. Um, our house-made cheese sauce, which we make from scratch every morning. Uh, homemade Thousand Island dressing and, wow. and diced raw onion on the top. And this here, of course, we made this one in the kitchen. Tell us about that again. Curry ketchup, mayonnaise, and raw onion. And then these are just a, a sample of a few of the different 15 to 20 different dipping sauces that we offer. Um, this is a spicy ketchup. This is a garlic sriracha mayonnaise. This is a special sauce. Uh, this is a spring pea mayo. 
Wow. Yeah, this and, and this is a Chipotle barbecue. So let's talk about the name. I bet just a lot of people probably think that you're Mr. Freiburg, right? Where did the name come from? And the name itself, I, I don't know. I was an English major in college and wordplay. I just wanted to come up with something that was kind of fun and maybe a pun on something else. And I, I was a fan of the, the Star Trek movie First Contact and the Borg is a character on there. And they say, you know, uh, resistance is futile and they will assimilate you. So it, it kind of all just, it just worked in my head and I thought it would be kind of neat. What would you say, John, to people watching who have yet to come in to this great restaurant here in the Devon section of Milford? I mean, I just would love for everybody to come in and try us out. We are not, I know it's going to sound, but we're not just fries. You know, we do a lot of other things. Our fries are great. All the sandwiches we offer are great. We do also have salads. Mm -hmm.